morning, YouTube Pipe community. <clears throat> this is Marty Bob here in Central Indiana. We're at Saturday, January 28th. It's approximately 2 p.m. Temperature's 43, feels like 37. It's mostly cloudy, and winds are out of the south at nine mile an hour. All surfaces are dry and clear. Warming up a little bit today, going to get rid of some of this snow and ice, but the roads have been clear and everything's fine. I'm going to do something unusual today because I usually don't do, usually don't do tastings. And uh, because I think when you taste a tobacco, it's like you taste anything else. Different people taste different things and have different feelings about it. But today, saying that, I'm going to be smoking John's Abu Pipe. This is a rather large bowl, large pipe, and the bowl is about normal size. Fish tail stem, a little bit of rustication. John did a good job on his pipe. His piping skills, pipe making skills are getting, getting better every day. Also shipped me a, one of these great self-tamping tampers. It's a heavy nail and you really don't need to tamp, you just need to place. It'll tamp itself, weight does the trick. So today, I'm gonna be giving my opinion or reviewing Edward G. Robinson's. This tobacco is not known by a lot of people in the Y2 pipe community. Excuse me if I'm going to light up. Now, Edward G. Robinson's <clears throat> is one of my uh, latest acquisitions of type to pipe tobacco. I just happened to uh, stumble upon it. <clears throat> Not being a tobacco expert, some of these guys can light up their pipe and tell you exactly what kind of tobacco is in it. And I can, <clears throat> if it's burly, So I'll tell you what they say about the tobacco on the blend. First of all, the tobacco is called Edward G. Robinson. He doesn't call it a blend, he calls it an aromatic mixture. Contains Nutty Burley, Gold Cavendish, Black Cavendish, it says fruity plum and wine notes. There's slight Latakia added for sweetness. I say it makes for harmonious tobacco that burns cool and slow for full enjoyment. Well, that's what's said on the big pipe to clinch. <laughs> a 
So that's what the tobacco looks like. By the way, uh, it comes at the perfect uh, humidity. It's not too wet, not too dry, just perfect right out of the, you don't need to set it aside or dry it. It's a ribbon cut, but it's kind of a larger ribbon cut. Very pleasant to smoke really like it I was on a live last night and mentioned Edward G. Robinson's and very few commenters there act like they knew what it was what it was so I thought it'd be nice to show it to you today it's not going to replace Velbert Velbert it's not going to replace Prince Albert are velvet on my uh, R. Carter Hall on my uh, rotation, but this definitely comes in fourth. I really like it. Really tastes great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review, opinion. Remember to subscribe if you're not. Ring that bell if you haven't. And press that thumbs up button. This is Smarty Bob reminding you. Excuse me. Yesterday was just a memory. Tomorrow's a promise. You go have a good day and enjoy your favorite pipe and tobacco. I know I am. Take care, my friends. Now. Got to get the right clicker. No. Nope.